Hello everyone. In our today's video, we'll be trying to understand about vitamins. So as we know that there are many substances like carbohydrate, proteins, fats, and certain inorganic salts in addition to air and water are essential for sustaining life and the normal functioning of metabolic processes. But beside this substances, there exist a specific group of organic compounds, which is very significant for the life processes. This group of organic compound is referred to as vitamins. So how do we define vitamins? Vitamins are, or may be defined as a group of biomolecules, other than fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, which are required in small amounts for normal metabolic processes and for the life, growth, and health of human beings and animal organisms. So remember that whenever anyone will ask you, what is vitamins? Vitamins are a group of biomolecules, which are other than fats, carbohydrates, and protein. They don't belong to this class, which are required in small amount for normal metabolic processes for the life, growth, and health of human beings and animal organisms. Now the question arises is, what is the importance of vitamins? Okay, Why do we need vitamins? So remember that vitamins are neither supply energy nor they build tissues, Okay, unlike uh, carbohydrates or proteins. But they play a very important role in keeping good health of human beings and animals. Lack of a particular vitamin, okay, due to the lack of a particular vitamin, it was found out that we suffer from a specific deficiency diseases. Okay, multiple deficiency caused by lack of more than one vitamin is called avitaminosis. Okay, and remember that most of these vitamins are not synthesized by our body, therefore, must be supplied in our food, in our diet. Okay, some of them are do, some of them are uh, synthesized in our body but most of them are not synthesized by our body and must be supplied in our regular diet. Now, the vitamins are classified into two categories based on their solubility, okay? Whether they are soluble in water or whether they are soluble in fats, okay? So water soluble, this includes vitamin B complex. So when we say vitamin B complex, there are series of vitamins, which are vitamin B1, B2, B3, B6, B5, we have B12, okay, and vitamin C. So vitamin B and C are soluble in water, okay, and this water-soluble vitamins, very important, must be supplied regularly in our diet. So whenever, whatever food we take daily must have actually vitamin B and vitamin C. Why? Since these vitamins are soluble in water, so they are readily excreted in urine. As a result, our body will not be able to store it. So as a result, in our regular diet, these vitamins must be supplied. Whereas when we talk about fat-soluble vitamins, okay, they include vitamin A, D, E, and K. Okay, They are stored in fats and adipose tissues. Okay, but remember that since they are not soluble in water, these vitamins, as a result, if excess of such vitamins is taken, it will be harmful and it causes hypervitaminosis. Okay, so excess amount of the fat soluble vitamin is harmful for our body. Okay, while the water soluble vitamins can be easily excreted, even though if you take excess of uh, water soluble vitamins. Okay. Now, what are the various sources of these vitamins and what are the deficiency disease they cause, okay? And what are their functions? So let us try to see each one of them in detail. So vitamin B1, name is thiamine, okay? The source, we have rice polishing, weights, flour, oatmeal, eggs, meat, liver, okay? What is the function? In our body, major component of coenzyme, okay, required for carbohydrate and amino acid metabolism. That is what vitamin B1 is or function of vitamin B1 is. What is the deficiency disease is caused? There are many deficiency diseases which it causes, but one of the very important is beriberi. The other 
deficiency disease is loss of appetite okay constipation uh, even paralysis also okay vitamin b2 we call it riboflavin or lactoflavin the sources of such vitamin is cheese eggs yeast tomatoes which you can see function it combines with phosphoric acid to form coenzyme fad essential for oxidative metabolism okay so that is its function what is the effect of deficiency okay so if such vitamin is deficient in our body so it causes many disorders which you can see in the screen okay some of them are burning sensation in skin and eyes headache mental depressions okay vitamin b3 pantothenic acid the sources is all food more is yeast okay sugar cane milk ground nut ground nut tomatoes okay function important components of coenzyme a okay required for oxidative metabolism the effect it carme uh, actually it causes graying of hair retard body and mental growth okay vitamin b5 nicotinic acid okay sources we get in fresh meat liver fish uh milk pulses yeast okay the functions active group in coenzyme nad okay required for oxidative metabolism and what is its deficiency okay it's diarrhea dementia inflammations okay of mucous membrane of the gut coming for vitamin b6 sources you can see milk cereals fish yeast functions important coenzyme required in protein and amino acid metabolism effect of deficiency anemia insomnia vomiting mental disorders okay vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin you can see the sources fish milk okay eggs function required for chromosome duplication and formation of blood corpuscles what is its deficiency it causes pernicious anemia okay and retards growth also vitamin c ascorbic acid okay the sources as we know lemon orange and other citrus foods okay function essential for formation of cartilage bones teeth connective tissues rbcs and for iron metabolism deficiency disease remember that it causes scurvy breakdown of immune uh, defense system so vitamin c if you have uh, deficiency then your uh, the immunity system breakdowns okay it causes bleeding gums okay and fragile blood vessels okay uh, nervous breakdown so these are the various uh, uh, deficiency or effects of deficiency okay now coming to fat soluble vitamins vitamin a we call it retinol okay so sources you can get in carotenoids pigment found in milk butter okay egg yolk liver the function essential for synthesis of visual pigments okay growth and division of epithelial cells effects of deficiency the major effects are uh, are as night blindness okay it causes night blindness okay impaired growth so these are some of the uh, deficiency of vitamin a if you come for vitamin d which we call also sunshine vitamin but remember that it is synthesized in skin shell okay in sunlight from seven hydroxy cholesterol okay and in presence of sunlight actually it is formed that's why we call it sunshine vitamin okay it is found in butter liver kidneys okay egg yolk fish oil it regulates absorption of calcium and phosphorus in intestine mineral deposition in bones and teeth okay so what is the effect of deficiency it causes rickets okay uh it causes soft and fragile teeth okay coming for vitamin e the sources are green vegetables oil yolk egg yolk uh, wheat uh, animal tissues okay function essential for proper sper uh, spermatogenesis okay pregnancy lactation and muscular functions effects sterility okay 
and muscular atrophy. Okay. And vitamin K, if you see the sources, carrots, cabbage, okay, cheese, it causes the function of it is essential for synthesis of prothrombin in liver, which is required for blood clotting. Okay, effects of deficiency, it causes hemorrhages, okay, excessive bleeding and injury, okay, poor uh, coagulation of blood. Now, apart from this uh, fat soluble and uh, your water soluble, one vitamin is there which is neither fat soluble nor actually water soluble and that is vitamin H, we call it biotin. Okay, this vitamin, the sources is vegetables, fruits, wheat, chocolate, eggs, groundnuts, okay. And the function is essential for fat synthesis and energy production. The deficiency you can see, loss of appetite, weakness, hair fall, okay, all is because of this vitamin H. And remember that it is neither a fat soluble, neither water soluble vitamin, okay. So that is how we can understand what are vitamins, what is the importance of vitamins, and what are the various vitamins, their sources, their function, and what will happen if there is a deficiency of any one such vitamins, okay. So thank you, everyone. Do subscribe for this channel for explanation on various topics in chemistry. Thank you.